Hello, I'm John. Welcome to this Mac Touch screencast where I'll be explaining how to clone your hard drive. The reason that you'd want to clone a hard drive is that it's slightly different to Time Machine. It provides another level of backup, halving your chances of losing critical data, and it's also uh, a bootable volume, which means that if the worst happens to uh, your machine, your hard drive fails, you can boot from an external hard drive. Two main pieces of software to achieve this. The first is Carbon Copy Cloner, the second is Super Duper, both of them well respected within the Mac community. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using Super Duper. We have a number of options here. Everything is explained in plain English, so as you change the options, you can ensure that the outcome is as desired. First of all, select the source disk, in this case the internal hard drive in the Mac, then the destination. This is uh, an external portable hard drive of equal capacity that I have plugged in via USB. There's a number of scheduling options, so you can perform a, a regular clone of your machine. I've chosen to clone mine on weekday evenings. And then there are some options. Before each clone, I've selected a repair of the permissions on the internal hard drive, and this particular option means that I'm only going to be copying any changes since the last clone. If you wish to do a complete erase of the destination drive and a complete clone, you can do this, but do bear in mind that this does take some time. If I click OK there, it will take a couple of moments to just register my options. Again, it gives us an explanation in plain English as to what's going to happen. I can then click Copy. And then SuperDuper brings up a window with uh, a list of tasks that it's going to perform in order to make a complete clone of your hard drive. That will take a little while. I'll let that go. Once it's completed, all of those items will be ticked and SuperDuper will finish. Then you'll have a bootable external clone of your hard drive. 